Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of Botox on Michaela right here, and we were talking about it. The lines that really bother her were the lines, her horizontal lines going across the top. But, you know, then we were saying these 11s that people talk about, she's just starting to get those, which are the vertical lines between the brows that come from frowning. Can you give us a frown? This one, move that muscle. Frown that. There you go. Okay, <laughs> and, then, and then also, then on the side, she's starting to get a little bit of lines on the side, and I like to do a tiny, what they call a microdose or baby Botox, they call it, where you do like a unit or a half unit there to prevent those lines from coming out so that they'll never actually even become like these for her. It'll change the way she ages. This is how Botox comes. It's in a vial and it's a powder that we reconstitute with either saline, preserved saline water, etc. I find that preserved saline makes it hurt a lot less for the patient when I'm injecting, so I use preserved saline. And really Botox, what it does is it basically makes the muscles relax. The muscles that are caused from making expressions, such as lift your brows. So the, that expression is causing, relax them now, these lines, these horizontal lines on her face. And the way you know that you need Botox is when the lines that are caused from your movement stay there when you're at rest, then it's time to consider Botox. And the difference between Botox and fillers is that fillers actually go, I like to say like tile, that in between your tiles in your bathroom, you put grout to fill in that or tile cement. It filler is much like that. It physically goes in, it's a gel that we inject to fill in, of course, much deeper lines than Michaela has, but basically to fill in those lines. And we tend to do that more in the lower face where we can't use Botox because you can't really do much with changing the muscle structure of the lower face and it can affect your smile and things like that. But then if you know, some older ladies have very deep grooves in the 11s, so it's very good there and that kind of thing too. These are a lot of off-label uses, so I strongly recommend that you know if you aren't so experienced in injecting Botox, you stick to the on-label uses of Botox, which is the forehead, the size of the eyes, and the brow. How long would, will this last? For you, probably five or six months. When you're young, it lasts longer than when you're older. And the earlier you do it in life, how old are you now? I'm about to turn 30 this year. Okay, so I started when I was 31, and I feel like because of that, now at 51, I needed a lot less than most of my friends who started later. Her numbing cream was white when we first put it on, and now it basically went clear. And that's how I know that the numbing cream is taken. You don't have to worry that it wore off because it takes a good two or three hours for numbing cream to wear off. So if you're, if you're new to this, it's good to know that you're doing a procedure that the numbing cream, when it sinks in, kind of loses its white color and it becomes clear. And then this is the frontalis muscle I'm injecting smart to inject very superficially and kind of where, in a grid, where the lines are. And then the cream works. I'm already done with your forehead. And then you may smile, relax. This is why people love Botox. It's painless, it's easy, great results. So I always tell my patients that the full results are at two weeks, but they'll notice that they're already improved each day. When you wake up each day, the lines are gonna be less and less, and then the peak results are at two weeks. Now I'm gonna do that frown, give me that move that muscle one more time, and relax. This muscle is big, so it requires the bulk of Botox. the aftercare? The Botox rules are that you're not allowed to touch any of these areas, including uh, anywhere I've, I've basically injected, and including that means putting on makeup. So you're not allowed to do that for four hours, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you're going out tonight, it's Friday for happy hour. No makeup until, let's see, until eight o'clock.